Hi guys, today I'm going to be cooking a Tyson Instapot kit with this R2D2 Instapot. And the flavor is hatch spring, chili, chicken, and rice casserole. But before you get started, make sure you give this video a like and smash that subscribe button and let's get started. So, uh, take cooking scissors, not just any time cooking scissors. I have pink even though my favorite color is royal blue. Because it used to be pink, but I changed it. And you just cut it open. And they have lots of flavors of this. But we chose hatch green chili chicken and rice casserole. That's the one we chose. We just chose it. You might have chose a different one, but this is the one we chose. You just take the ingredients out and you throw this in the trash. And then you close your scissors. So once you open it, this is what's inside. You have rice, chicken, and sauce. Then you Open the Insta Pot, and if you want to, you can do that. And then you set Insta Pot to saute with one teaspoon of oil. So saute, and then. One teaspoon of oil, and then you put it over here in the sink. Then put chicken in Instapot for two minutes. You just have to open the chicken like this. And you have to cut it with scissors. I know it's pink, but my favorite color is royal blue. So once again, I'm saying that. Tight. Oh, I already feel the juice. Even though I haven't touched it yet, I still feel it. I have a better idea. These, these, these are just a tiny bit too big. They're not too, too big. They're just, oh, see, they're not too big. They're just a little big, that's it. Okay. All right, so you take this fork thingy and you just stab it, but you gotta move it. You can't do it. So you just stab it. Hold on. It's so tricky because you, you don't want to get chicken juice everywhere. That surprised me. And you just need to hear it. And it's scary doing this part when you're a kid and you've never done it before. So you got all the chicken, 
All right, and that was pretty scary. I'm browning the chicken on each side. So. That looks a bit scary, so I'm gonna use this scissor tool. You can ask an adult to help if you wanna turn it over. Mommy, can you please help me? So my mom helped me to flip it over because it's a bit scary for a kid. And I'm seven years old. Even though my mom helped me, doesn't mean I'm a baby. So then you put the rice over the top of the chicken. So you cut the rice open with the scissors. The scissors are really handy for this cooking event because you use it a lot. Sometimes you just have to cut it twice, but that's all right. And then you just pour it in like this. And then you just throw it in the trash. Add one cup of water to the yummy food. So you pour one, then add sauce over chicken and rice. Ooh, and it's a little messy, so I have to be careful but don't worry I'll clean that up and then do not stir because you don't want to stir it and if you're wondering what I'm looking at the recipe so that's where I'm reading it from in case you're wondering and then put lid on and lock it after you're done with the sauce. Wow, that was messy and you gotta clean up your mess. So you don't lock it yet, but I'm just telling you for the future to do it. But like a short future, like we just do this and then the future comes. Okay. Then you close the lid, put the lid on and lock it again. Try to do it carefully. You gotta. And don't worry. I got the rest of it. Then you got, then you just, okay, it's locked. And then set manual timer for 20 minutes, so. All right, I set the timer for 20 minutes and all we have to do is wait. Well, it's getting to the pressure because I see smoke. We're so excited. You see the smoke coming out, it's like, but you can't touch it because it's too hot. It stopped, that means we just have to wait for 20 minutes. All right, the timer went off for 20 minutes, and now it's time to do quick release to release pressure. And my mom's going to help me since it's a little dangerous because you have to put it there well in the right spot, but if you don't do it right, then it burns your hand, so it's dangerous. All right, we're letting the pressure out. Um, as you can see, it's making lots of noise. 
It's like, and kids and boys and ladies out there who's trying to cook this for the first time. I mean, like grown-up ones. Uh, and if you're a kid uh, and you ask a grown-up uh, for help at the beginning, um, uh, to um brown the meat. Uh, wait, and ask an adult to help you. You were very brave because that's really scary. Because it's like, oh, I want to be, uh, like this, but I, but I'm too like scared to do it because then it's like, oh, and then it's dangerous, and then you get burnt. So then you have to open the lid carefully. And again, you need to ask an adult to help you because it's so hot. Ooh, that looks good. And we'll show you what it looks like. All right, so my mom is uh, cutting up chicken because it's really hot. So she's doing it. And we see she's cutting it up. Real good. Like that looks so yummy. It kind of looks like tuna fish. The chicken. Looks so good. And she's trying not to get burned because see that metal part? That one's hot. So if you touch it, you'll get burnt. Now you mix it and serve it. So you just mix it up real good and still do not touch the middle part. This one I feel a little bit more comfortable for doing because it's just mixing. It's not like, oh, I need to do two hands. Two hands a bit scary because it's like, oh, what if the other hand burns it? And then it's like, oh, no, I need to go to the hospital because what if you like, burn off your skin and then you don't know what to do so then you have to go to the doctor and that's a really scary time right now because we're in COVID-19 here so it's like real scary okay so now you just take it and put it on the plate this is my first time ever eating it so I'm just having a little bit so now I just put it like this and then you get a fork wait for it to cool and just to let you know this is a big girl because I'm a big girl I'm nervous and excited to try this but I'm not sure if I like it or not it's actually real good but I like about it is the chicken is cooked perfectly I love the rice it's just the right amount of spicy and I'm just going to keep eating this until the video is done. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out our other videos and see you guys later. Bye.